Uh, this is our first video. <laughs> it's New Year's, obviously, because she misplaced her cup. Um, I'm London. You guys follow me. A lot of you guys do. And if you guys don't follow me and you just came across this video, then add me, girls in snapbacks. Follow her. <clears throat> and this is my sister. She just made a Tumblr. Um, what is it? Dub that step. Dub that step. We'll put the links down in the video. Karen also has a Tumblr. I don't know hers. What it's is yours? Cool. It's <laughs> not that cool. <laughs> I don't actually know. But anyways, uh, we'll find the links. But um, yeah. So London, Christian, Karen. So yeah. Hey let's guys. get started. Um, I asked you guys to submit questions or comments or whatever. So Christian had the awesome idea of writing them all down and putting them in a hat. And for Ooh. every question and comment that you guys sent me, and I cut them off at 11.30, so if I don't hit, like, some of your guys' questions and stuff, that's why. Um, we had to watch the ball drop with her mom. But we're, we're going to drink and take a shot and whatever. We're just going to drink on camera for you guys, basically. But <laughs> All right, so the first one. Oh, oh, this one actually... Has a name. If you guys uh, were ballsy enough to come off a non, then I'm going to say your name. And I'll put your guys' blog in the video as well so people can follow you. My Kate Mary asked, doing anything fun for New Year's? Yes. Spending it with you guys, drinking up. You know. We also watched the ball drop with our what mom. What are we doing? You just drink Let's all cheers. Oh, oh fuck. Sorry. Okay, let's she just cheers. <laughs> are you <laughs> almost done with that shit? Damn. Okay. <laughs> Now I'll answer. We uh we spent it um with our mom because we're home and she's missed us. We haven't seen her in a long time, so we decided to do that instead of going out and partying, and being yeah. hood rats. So hood rats. Hood rats. Here, Karen, do you want to <laughs> no come? No jail for us tonight. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> no promises. Uh, what's your favorite food? Ooh, let's all answer this. You go okay. first. Um. With fucking sriracha on it. Seriously, anything with hot sauce on it, I'll eat it. Even if it's cereal, probably. I've never tried it. Ew. <laughs> I, asked, I asked her earlier today, I was all like, would you drink sriracha? She's all like, put a little lime in it and maybe. <laughs> My favorite food is anything seafood. I was born a lesbian. Nice. Alright, your turn. <laughs> um, anything pasta. <laughs> you can drink that too. <laughs> Yum! Does it have a name or was that not? It does not have a name, it's anonymous. So, what do you look for in a girl? I'm right. gonna get Date No Show Keisha looking. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> don't come be my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't come be my ass, or Keisha. <laughs> Picture Karen so getting her ass beat by Sharkeisha. <laughs> like, what if guns. Sharkeisha just busted through the wall like the fucking Kool Aid Man? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Um, I look for. I ha I don't know. I'm actually kind of picky. Um, I they definitely have to be attractive. Um, I usually go for brunettes. Um, they have to be athletic or at least willing to do physical activity with me of some sort. Um, they have to be loyal and trustworthy and all that jazz. Um, and if they don't have a sense of humor, then they don't have a chance because I'm literally laughing all the fucking time. All the fucking time. Also, goals, big deal. Alright, I won't. <laughs> or you can do the London and not wink. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I, I can't wink. I can't. I like blink. I'm like, hold on. I, do you guys really want me to try me right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't try to wink. Killing us. Killing us. All right. Can you and your twin read each other's minds? What are you thinking right now? Tacos. That's what I was thinking. Oh, shit. <laughs> do, do we have more alcohol, or are we gonna have to take a break and go get more? Yeah, we got. Uh, we got yeah, it's like two questions left. Yeah, this is me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like to drink. Um, <laughs> why are you so cute? I don't know. It was born this way. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you say you were born this way? <laughs> okay, Lady Gaga. Um, thank you. I, I, okay. Here's a thing about me. 
Um, I'm actually really awkward when people compliment me. Like, really, I don't know how to... I just say thanks and, like, move on, but... Yeah. Okay, next. Next question. Next question. Some of them are just comments. Um, let's see. Can you cook? <laughs> Christian look like complete shit. And I say that with the utmost love. And then I had to learn how to cook for my girls. She oh burnt a <laughs> pot <laughs> of boiling <laughs> water. Yeah, she was boiling water and then the pot burned. I dehydrated a lean cuisine. True story. Yeah, yeah. that too. Yeah, dude. Um, Damn. So, no, she sucked, but then, magically, she moves off to college and, yeah, um, she learns to survive. She went into survival mode. Well, it was I mean, either eat PB and J's or <laughs> die. Not a big Back fan in the old days, you know. Honestly, unless you include cereal, no. The reason good. I learned how to cook it wasn't because of survival mechanisms. I really like this one girl, and so I went up on YouTube and I looked up videos on how to cook her meal. You didn't know this. This bitch is lying. She probably ordered takeout. <laughs> this is not fucking <laughs> shit. Yeah, I can so see that too. And it was like, baby, yeah, girl. Doesn't it taste exactly like Olive Garden? <laughs> <laughs> baby, I made this recipe especially for you. I sprinkle a little bit of love in that. My great grandma, it's passed down from generations. <laughs> like, generations. Generations. Yeah, no, that's actually what happened. I really liked her and I tried to cook. And then after it didn't work out, I was like, well, fuck. I had not worked out because you gave her food poisoning. <laughs> Fucking moving on, Christian. <laughs> What's Damn, the most sorry. rewarding thing you got from making your documentaries? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah, Anonymous. um, sadly, Christian wasn't here to do the documentary, um, with Stop. us, and Karen, I didn't know her, um, Basically, then, she would I love it. getting emails from everyone and their stories. A lot of your stories are really sad, um, and it, even though I don't know you guys, it hurts me. I was lucky enough to have a mom and a family that really supported us and has taken in every girl that we've been dating. <laughs> Literally, like, it helps me um, to know that I actually helped people. Yep. I made the documentary for personal reasons and for my friends, basically. I didn't think it was going to blow up as big as it did, and for that, I truly am thankful. And I hope that all you guys... Um, who are going through stuff uh, are brave enough to continue to go through it because it really does get better. I did, at the end of the video, it says Fear Not, and um, the reason we chose that scene as the last scene is because it <coughs> really does get better, and it just drove the whole video yes. home for us. However, so. I do have something to say to the parents out there, and this is sincere and from my heart. How would you expect your kids for you to be homosexual when you're heterosexual. So in, in the same respect, how would you expect them to be heterosexual when they're homosexual? I think what it comes down to is, is just saying, hey, you know, I love my kids no matter what they are. And being able to accept that, go on with it, not beat yourself up over it. And if you have a healthy and happy kid, it doesn't matter if they're homosexual, heterosexual, whatever. As long as they're happy and they're thriving and they're doing well, that's what every parent wishes. Show this to your that. parents. Okay. Love you, Mama. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wait, does this have a person's name? Good. This has a person's name. Oh, shit. Um, Liz Delwin 13. Okay. L I I Z D L. D-I-N-13, thanks for submitting. I'll put your link in the bottom of the thing. Yeah. Um, I thought you should know you're beautiful, and I hope you have a great New Year's. That's not a question, but I didn't just ask for questions. I asked for comments. Thank you. Um, you're beautiful, <coughs> too, but more for your beautiful soul. And I hope you had an amazing New Year's. Can we drink? Um, oh, yeah, what Horse the shots. Here's one. You've had too much if you forget. Right? It's all good. No. You're all past us with you. No, it's just one. Did, where did windowsill shots <laughs> come from? We got a setup. There was a three part story. Um, <laughs> the first time I ever came out before even my mother knew, I wanted to come out to the one person that knows me better than anybody, and that's my sister. Yeah. yeah. So, um,. 
I don't know if you guys ever watched South of Nowhere, but I love that show. She loved that show. But nothing ever clicked between us that said, hmm, I think she's gay. And nothing ever clicked in her mind that said, hmm, I think my sister's gay. So, anyway, we're watching, we're watching the series together. And I'm on top bunk because I don't want to make eye contact with London whenever she's on bottom bunk watching, because we have bunk beds, when she's on bottom bunk watching this. Thank you for <laughs> clarifying that. She was this. floating, actually. <laughs> London, I have something to tell you. And London's like, all right, tell me. And I was like, okay, here goes nothing. And then she was like, okay. And it took me three at three and a half hours to tell her because I went back and forth from crying to laughing to saying you're gonna hate me and then finally I was like all right I'm gonna do it okay you're gonna hate me I'm gay and this was her response me too <laughs> okay so anyway um mama accepted it she's been the best mom ever since she um, accepted it for a day and, and then, then for rumors. two months it got awkward and, and then, then I sat her down. Third oh, yeah. stage. You gotta tell your <laughs> friends. Um London wanted to be out. I did not. We got into a huge argument about it and London finally came out one day after I begged begged her and pleaded her not to because she was gonna have to drive me down with I begged it did it. Anyway, so um not only did she say, Hey, I'm gay <laughs> she drug me down with her just like mama. And talk. Next question. Drink. So, I already drank. I've been drinking this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have, do you and your sis fight a lot? Yes. <laughs> because we know each other so well, and we know how to piss each other off. Shh. <laughs> let it happen. Should we drink? <laughs> Let's drink. Uh, yeah, this is true. Christian's kind of fast. Let's go. Drink. drink. We Everybody drink. out there watching this right Yo. now, if you're... Just, just if you sound. feel like you don't have anybody, you have us, okay? And we're Some just hoping tickle. that this helps you a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> While Karen's snickle tickling me. Snickle tickle. Ouch! It's a snickle tickle. <laughs> I don't know, but it violated my you space, see so no snickle tickle. Are you and Kiana dating? Ooh, Ooh good question. Who's Kiana? Right? We're not dating. Um... We think each other are cute, and she bought a plane ticket. Hell yeah, for Ballsy Girls. She bought a plane ticket to come see. a train ticket. Plane. Train? Plane. Train sounds cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next question. Alright. What other sports do you like other than rugby? Oh my god. Ooh. We'll all answer this. Do you want me to answer it first? You yeah, answer you it? answer first. Anyways. This was made for me. It says, love London. That's a rugby ball in the middle. Um, it says, make stepping stones out of stumbling blocks. Um, it was from my big pace. But it's amazing. On sports um, besides rugby. I love soccer. Absolutely love soccer. Basketball's amazing. Um, softball's cool. I've got a lot of um, friends who are D1 athletes. Um, um, so yeah, any sport. What about you? Um, okay, softball, number one. God, I'm a typical lesbian. Yeah, how about you, Karen? I play video games. Next question. <laughs> yeah. I'll drift some cars. <laughs> but not NASCAR, because that's country. Oh, Alright. Yeah. How do you hit on a girl? Ha. <laughs> I don't. You don't? I don't hit on girls. girls um, don't. how to hit on a girl? I don't really know. I'm a really outgoing person. I talk to anyone and everyone. Um, be yourself. That's my main thing. Be yourself. Don't try to be something you're not. Because if you're trying to be something you're not, they're going to end up liking the person that you're not. Which, if you get into a relationship with that girl, it might be great for a month or two. But in the long run, it's not going to work out. It's going to end up in heartbreak because there's something you're not. And they're going to expect you to be that person. And you can only be... A person that you're not for so long. You're going to get exhausted. So, seriously, just be yourself. And if they like you, awesome. If not, they're not right for you. Move on. Like, exactly. it's not that big of a deal. You'll find somebody. If you'll find anyone. If you're so anyone. Not you'll find enough. someone. Shit, you know, tipsy. <laughs> you'll find anyone. Sounds about right when you're heartbroken. <laughs> you'll <laughs> find something. All right. <laughs> that tree looks nice over there. Great Myrtle. <laughs> Is you or your sister older? This question just can burn in hell. <laughs> oh, good 
question. Do you go for girls that wear snapbacks? Um, a lot of people wonder this because I wear snapbacks, and absolutely, I will go for a girl that has a snapback if I think they're cute or whatever. Um, usually I'm a more dominant one. If a girl wears a snapback, I think it's cute on occasion. Um, as long as they're attractive. I already told you what I like in girls, so yeah. However the style that they like, I mean, whatever style that they like, as long as they like it and they're confident in it, then that's all that matters to me. So girls, if you want to rock a snapback, rock a snapback. <laughs> I'll rock it with you. Can you tell us a funny story? Yes, I can. I'm going to take this one away because I'm pissed about it still. Go ahead. So about this we had a Barbie Jeep. <laughs> I'm pissed and too. I hit a damn tree. <laughs> Who the fuck crashes Barbie Jeep? It doesn't even go, what, like two miles per hour? Not even one mile per hour? That's besides know. the point. I was trying to drive, and after I hit a fucking tree, it didn't leave a fucking scratch. <laughs> Christian was like, you're not allowed to drive the Barbie Jeep ever fucking again. You don't think you can just go, whoop, and just turn it slightly so you can just, I don't know, ease on by that damn big ass tree that you just crashed our most amazing Christmas present ever? <laughs> that fucking ficus jumped out in front of me. Are you snapchatting? Yes, I'm sorry. What's your favorite song right now? Christian, you're really good at music, though. Oh, damn. Um, God. Well, Christian's figuring it out. <laughs> I don't know. Go sorry, listen guys. to my playlist on Tumblr. Yeah, listen um, to mine. Honestly, I think, what is it? Uh, Name and, Name and Lights or uh, Lights or something? It's, I don't know. I like that song. But my playlist right now is what's interesting to me right now, so... Yeah, go check it out. It's great. I love my playlist. Yeah, uh, I change it playlist. every couple yeah. weeks or so. All right, next question. I'm getting drunk. I know we're looking for catch. Are you a lightweight? Do you see this? <laughs> what do you want once you're out of college? Car. What car? <laughs> what car? Yes, what car do you want? Oh, what car? Oh, it's Karen wrote the questions down. Old school would be a Bobo D40 diesel. Uh... Supercar, an LFA probably. I don't like Lamborghini. And an everyday driver, I would go for like a newer Honda Accord. Seventy six Mustang. I want a Lamborghini Gallardo. I like the futuristic look. I like. I like the old school look. Christian likes old school. We are different. We're so different. Opposite. What celebrity would you date if you could? I got a couple. I got a couple. <laughs> Oh, you want me to go first? All right. <laughs> Selena Gomez. Holla. If you're out there, come find me. You know, people say that you're <laughs> young and shit. <laughs> but listen, I already consider you half gay because you dated Justin Bieber. Also, I want Jennifer Lawrence. I think Jennifer Lawrence is absolutely mm, that's attractive. That's a good one. She's fucking amazing. A girl that can eat? She's always talking about pizza. Girl, I will <laughs> deliver you the best pizza you've ever had. Kesha. Oh my god. Before you got that gold tooth. I had a dream I went dumpster diving with Kesha <laughs> and then we fell in love. <laughs> I think that's your subconscious no, telling dude. her. <laughs> that's your subconscious telling you that she is trashy. <laughs> Thank she you. She is so trashy. She's, she trashy. Is, she's got that she grunge look. I just, oh god, I love it. Well, she's you can keep your glitter because that shit never comes off. Just like herpes. <laughs> can never get rid of it, and that's what you're gonna get if you talk to Kesha. Next question. What's your drink of choice? Long Island iced tea. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> God, you're so much like me. Whiskey. Jim Beam. Jack Daniels. Any I'm kind of whiskey. Jack Daniels. I'm tired of Ciroc. I've drank everything. I've been obsessed with everything. Jack Daniels just sticks out though. Before your alcoholism starts to show, <laughs> how many girls have you been with? <laughs> you said you had a twin. Are you guys identical? Let me get in closer. Hey, I kind of look like y'all. <laughs> was asked by someone who <coughs> who is not anonymous. Sydney Taylor 44. You're gorgeous by the way. Not a question but thank you. What's your favorite holiday? Christmas. Christmas is my favorite year too. Or my What's Christmas. your favorite holiday? 
That's my holiday. Yeah. Um, my birthday. What's your dream date? My dream date. Getting in a car, not knowing where we're going, and just driving. And wherever we end up, we end up. I don't like plans. I like adventure, and I like a girl that isn't so. This is what we need to do. This point, this point, this point. If we go and climb trees, awesome. Like I, I don't know. Like I, I'm definitely not the dinner, movie type of girl. So this was by anonymous, you're gorgeous. Thank you. You're sweet. I don't know who you are. Come off a non. We'll talk. Um. <laughs> hey, no. Oh shit! We gotta drink to that. I've been drinking. Damn, this is the best <laughs> drinking game ever. You to drink. Thank you, followers, for getting us messed up on New Year's. Are you single? I am single. However, um, and <laughs> my mom is laughing right now. <laughs> I am single. However, I She's find some. I, I find someone cute right now. Oh. I know who it was by for. What's your ethnicity? <clears throat> My ethnicity? Les Ecuadorian! Les Ecuadorian! I'm a lesbian Ecuadorian! We're Ecuadorian, white, European, I guess. I don't fucking know. Not Germany. No, you're Irish American. Am I Irish? Oh, that's you learn something new every yeah, day. Yeah, yes. okay, I should drink. be a better drunk. <laughs> Irish American, Native American, Ecuadorian. Yes. Mexicano. That was it. <laughs> However, we have one more question. I forgot. It was a comment on um, the status. Um, it was by Kiana. We are doing this five sentence thing, so guess what? I'm going to do your five sentences right now where we write each other five sentences every single night to tell each other how we feel about each other so that um, we know how each other feel from distance or whatever. So you already gave me your five sentences, but I'm gonna say I'm tipsy. Um, I'm sorry that That's I was romantic. I know. I'm sorry that I wasn't I'm with half you. I'm drunk. <laughs> but here it is. I am half drunk, but here it goes. It's New Year's. I'm sorry that I didn't get to bring the New Year's in with you. I'm glad that you called me. You're gorgeous. You are. You really, really are. Not just for your physical looks. A lot of girls. On Tumblr, I've noticed, have gone for your looks, but you're beautiful inside and out from the conversations that I've heard. You haven't had an easy past, and you aren't having an easy future with some of the stuff that you're going through. But I find it amazing that you try and reply to all your followers, and you truly try and help them in every way possible. And I can't wait to see you, and I'm going to treat you well when you're here. So, there you go. Making all the girls jealous. She wanted me to make all the girls yeah. jealous. So. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. Cheers. Let's drink. Drink.